How do you zoo, ladies and gentlemen? How do you zoo? That sounds like a play on words, doesn't it? But we really mean it. How do you zoo? Most of us visit our zoo on Saturdays and Sundays and holidays when mom, pop, and the kids can get out for a gala holiday together. And most of us go for the animal shows, such as those made famous by director George P. Beerheller at the St. Louis Zoo. Record crowds, sometimes more than 50,000, attend this famous zoo over the weekend, jam-packed the modern amphitheater where the monkey shows go on. They're off to a thrilling start. The happy chimps take their daily canter on streamlined ponies scaled down to size. Here's an easy one, if uh, you know how to do it. There is one more chimp than pony, and someone is bound to be left at the post till the next trip around. Looks easy, but ask the trainer. This took long hours of patient work. Uh-oh, looks like a touch of rodeo. Will he be able to hang on? Shucks, says the chimp, that's nothing. I haven't seen the horse yet that couldn't be tamed by my Spanish Fandango. So it goes, two chimps and a ball and a barrel of fun, producing a show that is loved from coast to coast and justly world famous. Time out for refreshment and to wander around the grounds before going to the next show. This time it's the elephant. How's this for a hula? Two tons of it. They say an elephant never forgets. But we wonder what little Eva remembers. Training's the thing, long hours of it before the show can go on. But it's fun for the animals as well as the audience, and a great tribute to the trainer. Strike up the band. If anyone gets off key, give him a squirt, and these are the boys who can do it. And so to another show, a veritable storehouse of entertainment. 